Now, let's talk about how to create unlimited Kindle books by answering a simple set of 39 questions. Remember, the first one is your name, so you can always get that right. And create as many Kindle books as you want from that topic and then from further topics, okay? Remember, you're going through the, the questions over one topic, right? And then you can go through for as many topics as you want. Okay, we're going to use the, uh, the list building content that I created and showed you earlier. Okay, so we'll bring up the wizard. Now, for those of you that already have the wizard, before we added the Kindle templates, all you got to do is go to your email and re-download the software, and the Kindle templates will be there. For those of you that are just coming on board and getting the software, here is where your templates will be. And for those of you that are re-downloading the software and are wondering where the templates are, okay, you click on Doc X. It's not in text. It's not in PowerPoint. It's in DocX. And again, this will work on PC and Mac. I want a Mac right now. Okay, so you scroll down to the K's. Kindle book, action guide. Kindle book, avoid trouble. Kindle book, beginner's guide. Which would you guys like to see? Would you like to see an action guide, a book about avoiding trouble, or a beginner's guide? Action, says Margaret. Beginner guide, says Molly. Beginner guide, says Fred. Beginner guide says Sue. Okay, we'll go beginner guide. Okay, so you click on that. Have we done anything hard here yet? Nope. Doc, Kindle book, build. You save it in a way you'll remember. Save. You guys ready for this? You want to see a Kindle, bit, Kindle book built three quarters of the way done, complete with a clickable um, table of contents? You guys ready for that? All right, here we go. View. There it is, okay? You come up with the book title. The cover, the best way to get a good cover is go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Spend $5, help, ask them to help you create a cover. Okay, here's a table of contents. You're going to have it about the author section, and then these five core chapters, and then some follow-up chapters, okay? So about the author, you can, you can copy and paste that right off of your website, right? So chapter one, the beginner online entrepreneur's guide to list building success. So here's your opening, and you've seen this before. It's the templates packaged into a Kindle book, okay? Step number one, create a compelling giveaway. And you talk about the steps. For those of you just starting, it's great to be asked a question and then have the prompt. This step is important because because that gets it flowing. Some people, when they um, they they do this and they add their own stuff, it's it's fine. Whatever you want to add is fine. Okay. Now, here's the thing because I can hear some of this out there. But 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 how long does it have to be, folks? For a two dollar and ninety five cents Kindle book on Amazon. And when you use KDP, of which you get two dollars of that two two dollars and ninety five cents, where most traditional authors get thirty cents for a twenty dollar book, okay, all you need is about ten pages of this content, okay, of the five chapters. So this comes out in two pages, boom, you've got your ten. It's going to come out to more, but that's really all you need because this is not war and peace, folks. Nor is it war, nor is it peace. You're solving one problem, okay? This is not everything you ever want to know about list building success. It's the beginner's guide, okay? So you do the same thing here in, in um, um, step two. Same thing here in step three. And you can have a call to action at the end of a couple chapters. I will do it at the end of a couple chapters, but not every one. But you've got your call to action options there. And then you've got chapter two and the title. And you do the same thing. You do your edits and you answer the questions. Now, if you don't want to write this out, Molly says, 
brilliant, you, rule, you, brilliant use of the rule of three that crosses cultural and ethnic lines worldwide. Exactly right. Exactly right. You can incorporate it into everything from nonfiction to storytelling. So what, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why we did it this way, Molly. Now, some of you may not want to write all this out. You can speak it and send it to rev.com, rev.com, and they charge a dollar a minute. Um, and they'll send it back to you. There's chapter three with your choices of intros. Chapter four is about mistakes, so you list the mistakes. Chapter five, advanced list building tips. So you give the advanced tips. There's five, four choices for intros. Remember when we answer the advanced tip questions? Okay. Advanced tip number two, how to best follow up. It is all laid out for you folks. And then you put your voice in it. Now, you've got your five chapters. And then you come in here and do the next steps. It's where you drive people to your website, an opt-in offer, a sales page. Kindle books bring in traffic to opt-in for stuff. Uh, I would put opt-ins up at the very beginning under the table of contents, along with other books I'd written. Um, I'd make the main offer here. And then you can have another chapter. Now, why would you have the offer before the other chapters? So people read the offer to get to the other chapters. And notice there is not – no, I wouldn't add a, a, a call to action to each chapter to do that. I wouldn't do that. I might do one or two in a five-chapter book, but one in each chapter would be too much. Thank you for asking that. Maybe I didn't make that clear before. Um, there is no conclusion in this Kindle book, nor should there be in yours. You want to have the next success steps, hot topics and trends and tips that shows that you're on top of everything. Another chapter for tools and resources. Um, I've mentioned a couple as we go through here, right? Um, so you can list tools and resources there with your affiliate links or your tools and resources. And then final thoughts. Wrap it all up for them here and maybe include a bonus tip. Oh, and one more thing. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is your Kindle book. Applause in the Q&A would be fine. Um, your next step would be getting a cover made at Fiverr and send it to Fiverr to get it formatted. Okay? Applause, applause. How many words, Mo Molly asked? Um, this, don't worry about words as much as pages. Ten pages is just fine, Molly. It's not the amount of words, and it's not the amount of pages. It's the problem you saw. Melanie says, this is great. Mickey says, awesome. Um, think about this. If you've got a medical problem, and it can be solved in one page, would you go, no, 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 I'm not, I don't want this solution because it needs to be more pages. No. Solve the problem. Okay, Margaret's recommending um, get Bookaholic on Fiverr. Getting it formatted, Andrew, is it needs to be formatted a certain way to best present on um, Kindle, on Amazon Kindle. And so they'll do it for you for five bucks over at Fiverr. Okay. Um, so there are your Kindle books. What I want you to notice, on one topic, you could do three books. A beginner's guide, how to avoid trouble, and an action guide. If you want to make your book longer... What do you think you do? If you want to make your book longer, what would you do with these templates? Combine them. There you go, Margaret, Mickey. Yeah. Combine the books. Deshaun, combine them. Melanie. Yeah. So just, you know, you could start with the beginner's guide, how to avoid the biggest mistakes, and then an action guide. Boom. You've got a three-section Kindle book with five chapters each. That would be a great book to turn into a Create Space book, a traditional book, using Amazon Kindle as well. Okay? So if all you ever wanted to do was create Kindle books, you're in paradise. Not only with the ease of creating the Kindle books, but all the other stuff that the wizard does, all these different articles and blog posts, all these different social media updates, all these different videos you can create, then become the marketing to promote your Kindle book. Vicky's wheels are turning. There you go. All right. So you're ready to start creating an unlimited amount of Kindle books. Here's where you want to go. 
custom content, wizardspecial.com. And for a whopping $97 one-time payment. No upsell hell. No continuity. One time, you get all of this stuff, all the training, all the bonus training, all the templates. Uh, we like to create it so you know exactly where to get started. That's why there's the Get Started Overview video. And that's why we show you, take you by the hand and show you what to do next. Okay? You can go to customcontentwizard.com and pay $197, the regular price. But I'd suggest you go to customcontentwizardspecial.com and get the significant discount for just one investment of $97.